All right, good evening. I'd like to call the North Aurora Village Board meeting for Monday, March 20, 2023 to order. Please join me in a silent prayer and meditation. All right, thank you. Please join me in a Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. Roll call, please. Mayor Gafino. Here. Trustee Carroll. Here. Trustee Curtis. Here. Trustee Gately. Here. Trustee Nedgefedge. Here. Trustee Salazar. Here. All right. Thank you. And our audience comments, um, Tom Uth, would you like to come up? My name is Tom Uth, uh, 2360 San Susi Drive, Aurora. Candidate for Fox Metro Trustee District 5. Uh, good evening, and thank you for the opportunity to speak to you this evening. The reason why I'm running for trustee is because clean water is essential for our local community. The Board of Trustees is responsible for this and for safeguarding our rivers, wastewater facilities, and public health. Voters need a candidate they can trust to execute this mandate. I believe it is vital that voters look for candidates who have knowledge of the board process, the experience to handle wastewater water quality regulations, and have relevant qualifications. First, voters should look for a candidate who know the board process. I have 35 years advising the Board of Trustees. I would recommend to them new sustainable infrastructure and projects and annually proposed budgets that they would review and approve. During my tenure as district manager for Fox Metro, I've spent, I have been to over 450 board meetings. Now that I have this opportunity, I'd like to provide my oversight over these same issues, but on your behalf as a trustee. Second, voters should look for a candidate with the experience to handle new regulations. In 2019, I helped Fox Metro meet new water quality regulations and standards for phosphorus 18 months early. You may have heard about new regulations regarding forever chemicals that harm our environment and our health. My previous experience handling phosphorus can directly transfer to these fast approaching regulations that affect our communities. I'm also focused on local priorities. As an example, I'm proud to have been part of the process to build a new North Aurora pump station. This allows future growth possibilities, such as the expansion of Aurora PAC. Finally, voters should look for a candidate with relevant qualifications. I'm a graduate of Wansi Community College, Midwest College of Engineering, and I have an MBA with Aurora University. From this, I've gained my degrees in civil engineering and business. I'm a veteran of the U.S. Navy. From this, I've gained the discipline that have guided me through life. I'm a lifelong Aurora resident. From this, I've gained appreciation for my community and my neighbors. In conclusion, I have 100% self-funded campaign. I have no private donors. The reason I'm running is because I have a passion for keeping our rivers clean and advocating for my community. If you are interested in supporting me, please check my website or follow my Facebook. Tom for Fox Metro. Clean water is essential for life and giving water second chances is a gift we can give our children and our grandchildren. Please vote for me, Thomas F. Muth, on April 4th. Thank right, you very thank much. Thank you. All right. Um, next item is um, a life saving award. Uh, Officer Dan Stone, come on down. Thank you, Mayor. I've taken all the pertinent information out so we want to identify the victim in this case. <clears throat> Officers were dispatched to a call for a victim that was found to be unconscious and beginning to turn blue. It was believed by the caller that the victim was overdosing. Upon arrival, the caller directed officers to the hallway where the victim was lying on the floor. The victim was not conscious, showing signs of agonal breathing and turning blue. Officer Stone pulled the victim to the kitchen where there was more room and began to give chest compressions. After the first round of compressions, Officer Stone used a dose of department-issued Narcan and administered it to the victim. Officer Stone continued with another round of chest compressions. 
After the second round of chest compressions, he determined that there was a need for another dose of Narcan. He then continued with a third round of chest compressions, and the victim started to show signs of consciousness. The North Dakota Fire Department arrived and took over by issuing the victim a third round of Narcan, and she began to show clear signs of consciousness, and the medics moved the victim to the ambulance. The medics reported that the victim may have had a few cracked ribs from the chest compressions, but was otherwise going to be okay. The victim admitted to the medics that the victim had used heroin. The immediate life-saving actions taken by Officer Stone contributed to the victim's regaining consciousness. Officer Stone's calmness, expertise, and decisive action led to the victim's survival and hoping, hopefully taking advantage of the second chance. I will now ask Mayor Gafino present you with this life-saving award. Congratulations. All right, we'll move on to the consent agenda. Motion to approve. Second. Right. Discussion? Go, oh, please. Trustee Gately? Yes. Trustee Nedgefench? Yes. Trustee Salazar? Yes. Trustee Carroll? Yes. Trustee Curtis? All right, thank you. Under new business, item one, Steve. Thank you. Item number one under new business is a reduction of the class L2 liquor license down to zero. Uh, we only had one. It was the Rustic Fox. They tried it out last year for indoor events, uh, basically allowed them to have liquor at indoor events without having to get a special event permit each time. Um, they decided not to renew it. So at this point, we're just zeroing it out to uh, back down to zero. Motion, Motion to approve. approve. Discussion. Roll, please. Trustee Carroll? Yes. Trustee Curtis? Yes. Yeah. Trustee Gately? Yes. Trustee Nedgevedge? Yes. Trustee Salazar? Yes. Thank you. Item two, Steve. Thank you. Item number two is increasing the number of liquor licenses, and this is in the Class G category for gas stations, and this is for the uh, the new uh, Casey's Gas Station and General Store, which is due to open sometime this spring, we uh, we believe, and they need a liquor license for that. Motion approved. Second. Second. Discussion. Roll, please. Trustee Gately? Yes. Trustee Nedgevedge? Yes. Trustee Salazar? Yes. Trustee Carroll? Yes. Trustee Curtis? Yes. All right. Thank you. Item three, Steve. Thank you. Item number three is a special event a permit for Goodwin Glow, uh, Goodwin Elementary's Glow Run Walk event. Uh, they're having it on Friday, April 28th from 6 to 9 p.m. Uh, the reason that they're having um, a need for a special event permit is because they're having a food truck there for longer than the two hours that we allow them. Motion to approve. Second. Discussion. Roll, please. Trustee Salazar? Yes. Trustee Carroll? Yes. Trustee Curtis? Yes. Trustee Gately? Yes. Trustee Nedgevedge? Yes. All right. Thank you. Item four, Steve. Thank you. Item number four is uh, ABD Cycling Special Event. Uh, this is a group that's had a few events over the years in our community. Um, they are looking to do two events, one on May 27th and one on September 23rd. The events are from 8 to 3 p.m. Uh, they would be on Breton. Uh, Patterson and Fair Meadow, which is on the west side of town, uh, close to Deer Path. Uh, they've done these in the past, and what they do is they basically stage the races, these uh, cycling races, in a way where they don't have to close any roads. So we really, to my knowledge, haven't had any complaints over the years that we've had them there. Uh, but it does need a special event permit because they are using village roads. Motion approve. Second. Discussion. Oral. Trustee Gately? Yes. Trustee Nedgevedge? Yes. Trustee Salazar? Yes. Trustee Carroll? Yes. Trustee Curtis? Yes. All right. Thank you. Item five, Steve. Thank you. Item number five is a special event request for the Rustic Fox, uh, who is looking to have a farmer's market. Uh, they've done this in the past. Uh, this is 
rather large. They have uh, 90 vendors plus um, at this uh, location. Uh, the event takes place over several months. There's uh, one weekend in May, June, July, August, and September. Uh, basically, what the, the reason they need a special event permit is uh, they have food trucks at the event. Uh, they also have liquor that is sold sometimes by the vendors. Uh, they have to have a liquor license to do so. That's kind of what they do is they get a special event license. And then if they actually have liquor being sold by a vendor, the vendor has to come back to the village, show us their certifications that they have the state licensing for, and then we can issue a special use liquor license uh, for them to sell at the event. Also, our, our code does require uh, that a special event permit is needed when they take up a certain amount of parking in an area. In this case, technically, you probably don't actually need a special event permit for that because, uh, to my knowledge, the... Uh, Town center is is the large amount of parking there is a shared under the PUD, uh, but nevertheless, it's all listed here as as reasons for the special event permit. Motion to approve. Second. Discussion. <clears throat> Overrule. Trustee Nedgevedge. Yes. Trustee Salazar. Yes. Trustee Carroll. Yes. Trustee Curtis. Yes. Trustee Gately. Yes. All right. Thank you. Item six, Steve. Okay. Item number six is another special event permit. Um, tis the season, and this is also for. Uh, Rustic Fox, who is looking to have the Golden Egg Hunt. And this is an indoor event on Saturday, April 1st, from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, this is an event to show off their new spring-themed merchandise. Uh, they need the special event permit uh, primarily because they plan to have liquor at the event, which will, like I said before, will require a vendor to get a special use permit from the village. Motion to approve. Second. Discussion? Hold the rope. Trustee Gately? Yes. Trustee Nedgefetch? Yes. Trustee Salazar? Yes. Trustee Carroll? Yes. Trustee Curtis? Yes. All right. Thank you. Item seven, Dave. Ah, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, the hardware and the software at the uh, police department, the door access control system, has it's reached its end of life. Um, the staff reviewed the current system and determined it would be beneficial if both the internal camera system and the door access system were integrated. Uh, additionally, staff has budgeted to replace the Village Hall's door access control system in the 23-24 year and anticipates using the, name, the same system for the new public works facility when it's built. Um, this will allow us to have one single system for all of our facilities versus right now we have a badge for the police department and a badge for Village Hall to get in. Um, so staff worked with a Vigilant technical support and sales staff to determine the upgrades necessary to fully integrate the two systems. Uh, we used those specifications and we created a request for proposal. We received four different proposals. After review, staff recommended awarding a contract to Midwest Integrated Solutions in the amount of $58,294. Uh, the RFP does exceed the budgeted amount of $50,000. Uh, the additional cost is partially due to uh, additional requirements we included. Um, the four Sally Port doors we'd like to tie into the system, the uh, firing range technician's office, and the network closet. Um, and additionally, like everything else right now, the ongoing supply chain issues has caused a little bit of a price increase. Um, so staff would recommend awarding this contract to Midwest Integrated Solutions in the amount of fifty, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> $58,294. Motion to approve. Second. Discussion. Laurel, please. Trustee Gately? Yes. Trustee Netredge? Yes. Trustee Salazar? Yes. Trustee Carroll? Yes. Trustee Curtis? All right, that concludes our new business. Um, Village President Report, I have none. Trustee comments? Administrator Report. I have no report, thank you. Department heads? All right, yeah, motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed the same. All right, we'll be starting to come into the whole shortly.